Have you ever wondered if there is any use for those old computers that seem to be just everywhere nowadays? Well, there actually definitely is. Today's video is going to be about how you can turn those ancient machines that barely still work into fully functional daily driver PCs which you can use or sell. Let's start refurbishing computers with three easy steps. To start out, we have to test if our system is still working. The most basic of these tests is to plug it in, turn it on and see if you get any output on a monitor. If you get a beep code or an error on screen, try looking up what it means because every computer manufacturer has different error codes. If the computer doesn't display any output, check to see if your RAM, graphics card, and other extension cards and CPU are properly seated. After rectifying any problems, we're going to move on to the next step. Cleaning the system can have huge effects on performance as dust clogged heat sinks and fans will not be able to effectively remove heat from your processor. First, use a vacuum cleaner to try to clear dust from inside the case. Next, take out the heat sink. If you can replace the thermal paste on the CPU, go ahead and use isopropyl rubbing alcohol to clean the thermal compound both off the heat sink and the processor. Then either blow, vacuum, or wash out your heat sink after removing any fans that might be attached. Make sure to let your heat sink dry before putting it back into your computer if you washed it. If you cannot replace the thermal compound, just try to blow out any dust with a can of compressed air. Afterwards, replace the heatsink and thermal compound if applicable, and turn your system on to make sure it still works. Finally, install your OS and software. If you plan on selling or giving away your computer, make sure to securely wipe any hard drives using a tool such as DBAN. For the purposes of this video, I will be installing Ubuntu 18.04 in OEM mode so the end user can set up their own settings. We'll first create a bootable installer USB with a tool such as Rufus or Burn a Bootable CD. Then we are going to install Ubuntu in OEM mode using the F4 Contacts menu. We have now refurbished a computer which will be ready for someone else to use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tech content like these guides. Thank you for watching this episode of Tiger Steve Tech and I will see you in the next one.